mates! Today we are making roux balls. What are roux balls, you may ask? They're meatballs made with kangaroo. Did that sound Australian enough? So this is what the package of ground kangaroo looks like. I found this at Fraser Farms. I also went over to Sprouts to see if they had it there and they did. Where you'll find it is in the freezer section near all the exotic meats. They'll usually be wild boar, elk, venison, things of that nature. So this is all you're going to need for your roux balls. One pound of ground kangaroo, one egg beaten, one tablespoon of garlic salt, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of rosemary, one teaspoon of basil, and a little bit of fresh ground pepper. Okay, so I've added all my herbs and spices, and I've beaten my egg, whisked it. I'm gonna add that to the meat. And then you just take your hands and mix it all together. Have fun with it. As you can see, it's a really red meat. So now I'm rolling the meatballs. You don't want them too big, but not too small. So I made about 10 of these. So you want to put two tablespoons of olive oil in a cast iron skillet um, on medium heat and get that nice and hot before you add the meatballs. Now tonight I'm going to be serving these meatballs with marinara sauce. So while these are cooking, you can get your marinara sauce going. Just use your favorite jar of marinara sauce. And you're just going to want to keep turning these. Kangaroo is a very lean meat. It's even leaner than bison. And kangaroo is best served rare or medium rare. So that's how we're going to try to cook our meatballs is medium rare. So they're not completely all the way cooked in the middle. You want them, well they'll be cooked but a little pink. That's how you'll get the most flavor out of them. Now you just want to keep turning these. Sometimes you might have to use the side of the pan to keep them upright. The olive oil is good because it gives it some fat that it doesn't have naturally. You just want to keep searing all the sides. By the time you sear all the sides, they should be cooked through. So these make a perfect appetizer and talking piece when people come over, as you can imagine. The perfect complement to it is to serve it with your favorite marinara sauce and freshly grated Parmesan. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Hit like and leave a comment and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And for all my recipes and ones you can download, go to my website at www.stephscookingchannel.com. And don't forget, it's Steph with an F.